So in this video, you'll learn the different ways you can take a screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So for this video, I'll be using the S25 Ultra, but these instructions will apply across all the S25 phones. So one of the ways you can take a screenshot is by using the physical buttons on the side of your phone. So in order for you to take a screenshot, you need to start by putting a finger on the power button and another finger on volume down. Once you've done that, you want to press on them at the same time, like this. And then this will take a screenshot and you can even see the pop-up of the screenshot at the bottom of your screen. So again, volume down, power button, press, and then it will take a screenshot. Another way you can take a screenshot is by using the palm swipe gesture. Now this gesture, it just allows you to swipe the palm across the screen of your palm, across the screen of your phone, in so that you can take a screenshot of what's currently there. So in order for you to do it, just ensure that you have your palm here, then just swipe across the screen, and then the screenshot will be taken. Bear in mind that this will take a couple of tries before you can learn how to get it correctly whenever you swipe across the screen to take a screenshot, but that's how you can do it. If you can't take, if you've tried this method and the screenshot is refusing to uh, be taken, then you'll need to enable it. In order for you to enable it, you want to start by opening the settings app, and then scroll and select advanced features, tap on motions and gestures, then look for palm swipe to capture and ensure that it's turned on. Once it's turned on, you want to go back, try the palm swipe and the screenshot should be taken. Another way you can take a screenshot is by using the shortcut in the quick settings panel. So to access the quick settings panel, just swipe down from the top of your screen and then swipe down again to access quick settings. Once you're in quick settings, look for take screenshot. And if you don't find it, then it's okay. You'll just need to add it to this panel. So in order for you to add it to this panel, tap on this edit icon at the top and then tap on edit the quick settings menu here. Then you want to look for the take screenshot option at the bottom here of available buttons for you. And then once you find take screenshot, just tap on it to add it to this quick settings panel. You can go even further by moving it up the list so that it's not at the bottom. You can take it to the top and put it in the position you want. Then just tap on done and then select done again. Once you've finished that, now whenever you look at the quick settings menu, you should see the take screenshot option. So now whenever you just tap on that button, a screenshot will be taken of what's currently on your screen. Obviously this would include the quick settings panel, so every time you just take a screenshot, it will just be directly what was on your screen. Now, if you want to take a scrolling screenshot, or you want to take a screenshot of the full page that you're viewing, and you don't know how to, then you need to start by taking a normal screenshot. So now this could be using the palm swipe gesture, this could be using the buttons, or it could be using the quick settings shortcut. It just doesn't matter. Start by taking a screenshot. Once you take a screenshot at the toolbar, you should see this scrolling screenshot icon that's available for you to choose from. So you should see this icon right here. Just tap on it and then it will increase what's currently being viewed on the page. If you have a long page that you're currently viewing, ensure that all of it has fully loaded so that you can take the full screenshot. So again, take a screenshot and then tap on the icon and you can see it being added onto the thumbnail for the screenshot. So just keep tapping on it until you're satisfied with how long the screenshot is. And then when you're happy, you can just tap on an empty space or tap on the space on your screen and the preview will disappear. And so now, whenever you want to view your screenshots, just open the gallery app and you can see your screenshots here, including the scrolling screenshot that you've just taken. And so that's how you can take screenshots on your Samsung Galaxy S25. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.